First off, let me say thanks to everyone who has commented, liked, favorited, and subscribed because of my Minecraft tutorials. You guys rock. Second, real quick, let me say to you that I really hope you check out the rest of my content. My live stream, Twitter, vlogs, and all the links are below, and I will mention them again at the end of this video. Okay, so you were able to get your server up and running. You can connect to it, but your friends can't. This is what we are trying to solve. Uh, if you don't have a server yet, or you tried it and it doesn't work yet, uh, check out the links below or jump to the end of this video where I will link to them uh, with the pictures or annotations inside this video. Here's one of uh, my good tutorials right here. This one has pre-made batch files, so you just try all the different batch files and see when your server runs when you do do it. Uh, that's for a bucket server. So click that one now if you want to check that out, or again, the links are below and at the end of the video. All right, if this gets too wordy for you, uh, as it might, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to explain everything for those that have questions. I'll put little annotations up to jump, uh, the time jump right through the video to all the main points for those that can't wait. Okay, your server is up and running, you can get on it, but your friends can't. So the simplest method is, what's my IP? Which is the question a lot of people ask. Go to google.com and type, what's my IP? And right here, it will show you your IP. You need to give that number to your friends. Tell them to copy and paste that or type it into their server address box in Minecraft. All right, if they still can't connect, then here's my next step, and it requires a little bit of clarifying. Uh, if you're connected to the internet through a router, like you, so you have your modem that hooks up to either a cable line or your phone line, and then you have a router because you have multiple things connected, you know, wireless, etc. Those have a built-in hardware firewall. So you don't need Windows Firewall. It's most likely running, especially if you're running Windows 7. And uh, if you don't believe me, then just Google for yourself, do I really need Windows Firewall? There we go. And I'll read some of these, and you'll see that you really don't. Um, and that's most likely blocking your friend from accessing your server. And you could probably also have them disable it. But, you know, you need to be careful. And if you're using a lot of peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, downloading junk programs, you know, yeah, you're going to need an antivirus for that. But the firewall isn't really necessary, so I would turn that off. So if you disabled Windows Firewall, you need to have your friend trying to connect again with that same IP you gave them earlier. There's a really good chance that they can connect now with the exception that if you're having people try to connect who haven't bought Minecraft uh, to change that so that they can connect, you're going to want to watch this video right here. It's really simple how to fix that, um, how to let people who are not premium connect to your server. Again, make sure that you trust these people that connect to your server that are you know, not premium. Now, if they still can't connect to your server after that, you're going to want to try to forward the ports. This is a little more complicated, but if it's the permanent solution, we'll fix it for you. So grab a pen and paper and, or your iPod or something you can type into and go get the brand and model off of the back of your router. Then you're going to want to go to portforward.com. Uh, there's a lot of good information here. It'll tell your, your IP right there as well. You put your router brand and model in there, and then it's going to ask you the program or the game you're trying to run to connect so it knows what ports to tell you to do. Uh, one other thing is you're going to want to set up a static IP for your computer. Uh, that is the LAN IP or the local the inside your house IP address. Uh, they have a little bit of software to do that too fairly easily. But uh, make sure if you install that, you click custom and choose to not install the ask toolbar. Ew. So getting a static IP just means that if your router gets restarted or the power's off or something, your computer will have the same IP so that when you go through all this and get the ports forwarded, they will always be forwarded to your computer where you have the server running because you have to call out a specific IP when you are forwarding them. So after you get the static IP for your computer, follow the instructions for your router on this site, and that's a permanent solution for having the ports always be forwarded. If all that sounds like way too much and you don't want to do it, you'd rather just run a program to connect, there is a program called Hamachi. You may have seen other tutorials about it on here. It's really not that bad. It's pretty cool. It creates like a virtual network through the internet that you won't need to forward any ports for and your friends can connect. You can do all sorts of things, play any kind of LAN games because you guys are connected in this virtual network. I mean, you can share files, you can share printers, you know, you can do all this stuff because they're in your network. And uh, just make sure that you have people that you trust <laughs> added to this network, you know, because they can access stuff on your computer potentially. Uh, just click right here in this window for my video on how to set that up and get it connected with your friends. It's really not that bad. Um, some people have a few issues with it too, but again, people have issues with everything. So give this a shot if you want to not do port forwarding. There's another fairly simple option, a program called Evolve. 
uh, go to EvolveHQ.com or click here to watch my video about setting that up. It's a pretty neat program. Um, some benefits are it's got like friends list, you can do screenshots, uh, it even has built-in voice chat, and it even does video recording of your game built right into it. Uh, you Once you install it, you have to go into the settings and you click on these checkboxes to install some of those features. They don't come like with the download for some reason, but all you do is you check it, it installs them, and then they work. It's really a great little program. It'll give you a different IP from your WAN IP. Uh, like mine always started with 10, some other number. You give that to your friends, they type that in, and then they connect. Uh, you create a party on there, and then you invite your friends to your party. Once they're in that party, that's basically the virtual tunnel through the internet, just like Hamachi, and then you give them that IP, and it, they put it in Minecraft, and they can join. It's a good program. I like it. Okay, so one more fairly simple way, if you're either having trouble running your server or getting your friends to connect with it, or you don't want to have it running 24-7 on your computer whenever your friends want to be able to play, you know, your computer has to be on and have the server running, or maybe your computer's a little older and it can't handle running the server and you connecting to it and playing, or maybe your internet's too slow, all of these things, uh, you could rent a server off-site. Uh, there's a link below for the place where I have my server hosted. Uh, starting at $4.95 a month, you can get a four-person server. It's got Bucket pre-installed, so you can do plugins and stuff. Um, if you want to run like TechIt, which is a pretty big mod, uh, there's one click install for that, but you're going to need to get a larger server, like a, the 1 gig or 1,024 megabyte 16-person server to be able to run TechIt smoothly. Uh, they also have TeamSpeak voice servers and some other great add-on services like that. Uh, I appreciate it very much if you check that out, and if you choose to host your server there, then that's awesome. Okay, I hope this helped you out. Uh, again, all the links are below. If it did help you out, please hit like and add it to favorites. It really helps the video to be seen by others in the search. If you subscribe and check out some of my other videos, that would be awesome, as I'm really trying to make great content and entertain and interact with you all. Again, all my social links are below, like Twitter and Facebook. Uh, drop by my live stream. We have tons of fun there, hanging out and chatting. It's really cool. I do giveaways and have a playlist uh, just for those specifically you can watch, as there's usually at least one going on, and the videos that I make announcing those are pretty fun usually. I'll put a couple other annotations right here for just maybe some of my other gameplays that I've done and stuff like that. So hopefully I'll see you around and talk to you later.